Hello YouTube and welcome to this channel. This channel is going to be talking about different simulation designs for electromagnetic simulation using Maxwell and later on HFSS as well as RM Expert. Um, I'm trying to put as much as possible tutorials online for free for you guys to use but if you need some premium support, consultants and training you can contact me with the emails provided here and I will uh, get back to you. Of course there's going to be a hourly uh, charge that will be applied to any support trainings or consultants. Now in this tutorial I'm going to talk about um, eddy current simulations. Eddy current simulation as we discussed about it before um, is basically the AC version of uh, magnetostatic simulations where you can define a frequency for excitation of uh, your current and you will uh, study the magnetic effect um, and inductance for example or capacitance of uh, your uh, design. I wouldn't put that much stress on the capacitance uh, calculations. Um, I, I guess the, um, the electric, electric uh, part is better. Instead of magnetostatic, you can use electrostatic calculation for capacitance, which I do have a lot of tutorials on my channel about this. One more thing about the tutorials that I provide here is that uh, the, the, the tutorial that I'm providing is mainly divided in three sections and you will find them mainly in three parts. The first part is talking about the design and modeling. The second part is talking about the setup, uh, boundary conditions, meshings, and uh, everything related to the simulations right before you press analyze key. And uh, the third part is talking about the uh, analyzing the results, interpreting what you uh, you you've got and trying to plot more meaningful informations and using um, um, more advanced tools like uh, uh, field calculator and plotting tools and uh, equations and formula and optimistics um, um, parametrics and, and and many other tools that uh, will be used later after the simulation result is provided. So this is basically a way that I'm trying to organize the tutorials. Now let's get, get into the uh, this tutorial. I'm going to talk about eddy current simulations and in this tutorial I'm going to have a core and uh, a ring that inside the ring I'm going to uh, excite some current and then uh, on the core that is made of um, iron I'm going to see the effect of this current as an eddy current that is uh, going to go through and also the magnetic fields and I'm also going to show you how to plot the magnetic fields over a line and over the axis of the um, basically the uh, the core so this is basically what's gonna uh, be um, you're gonna see in this tutorial let's get into the design so I already uh, created projects called it eddy current and I'm gonna add a design of 3d design by clicking on this button and uh, now I'm going to use a cylinder for my core and as you can see I'm not going to use the cylinder tool and the reason is because the cylinder is using arc um, curvatures and, and that is very tough on uh, meshing and therefore I um, uh, recommend you guys to always use polygon unless if it's absolutely necessary and when you use polygons you can give number of segments to make it more and more close to the arc and trust me it's much better uh, way of uh, working um, uh, compared to the cylinder so I'm gonna create uh, um, uh, our our cylindrical core uh, using the polygon I press um, uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, 0 0 and minus 10 for my uh, Z and for my radius I'm gonna put um, uh, I guess I'm gonna put a radius of 5 um, so it's going to be 0, uh, 5, 0 and for my height I will put a 20 millimeters on z-axis so that gives me um, a number of segments now I will put 24 here pressing OK and calling this core and changing the uh, property to iron and if you don't see the iron in this list go to the edit and then search for it um, as you can see on the search by name you can search iron and there we go you press enter and you've got your design ready press ctrl and D to have a fit 
better design of view of your design. Again, I'm going to make the ring here for the excitation, and I can use the draw torus or the um, um, donuts. But I'm going to go with the polygon again because again, donut is arc shaped, and it's going to cause some problem for us. So I'm going to use the arc um, uh, shape. Uh, sorry, the polygon uh, for that. Uh, press um, the center for the center of that and uh, for the uh, dx puts the value of 5 and the dy and dz don't change it and then um, oh actually my bad it should have been a uh, value of 10 so let's cancel this and do it one more time I press escape to cancel it by the way so one more time I press uh, that and I go for the value of um, x or y I guess I will go Y or X maybe this time. So I put um, 10 here and for the Y I put 0. Pressing OK and then for the height I get 2 millimeters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this one by the way uh, coil and uh, I'm going to select copper here and make sure that the color is appropriately selected. Now I'm going to go and select another um, uh, design like that. This time I'm going to say 8 another polygon and um, press OK on that and for the height I will give 2 so this will create my second polygon that can be used as a tool to subtract from the first polygon I don't care about the material event so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press and hold the control key and uh, select the coil and then select the tool okay first select the coil second select the tool and then go to the subtract and then make sure that the tool is under the tool parts press OK that's your uh, design so you got it everything ready now uh, one other thing that you have to uh, look at is the region and um, oh actually before that I'm gonna um, actually I will put it for the uh, second video so now I'm gonna create the region it's very simple you just click, click on the region and make sure that the value here is 100% for all dimensions and it gives you enough um, region to, to be able to plot your designs and your fields and calculate inside the region um, what I'm gonna do is most of the time I try to get rid of this region and hide it so I'm, I'm hiding the selected area so that's pretty much done control s and that is ready for your um, next part which is going to be um, setting up for um, simulations.